I'm Kanis. I'm a mother, a dreamer, and a professional who is working beyond comfort zone. I'm very thankful to this handsome hard nut for bearing with me and cooperating me for last four and a half years. Today I'm here not to share any success story of a successful person. Rather, I'm just another woman who is struggling to balance her motherhood and a demanding career and my own passion. Like all other working mothers, I have to fight every day my life battle with severity. But why I'm here today? I'm not to share any success story. Rather, I want to share my spirit and experience with all girls, women, and mothers to think and dream big, to be the drivers of the next. I would encourage all of you to go beyond. This weekend is significantly different than all other weekends I have spent for the last 24 months. After a critical maternity period, I was losing, losing confidence on me. I was uh, in big dilemma whether I would be able to recover again or not. Then I decided to take a challenge. I decided to take a challenging job role in another place 250 kilometer away from Dhaka. And in one fine morning, I left this a known city, my own home, and all favorite faces here. But the thing was not working as per plan. After going there, I realized that I am not able to keep my two and half year old son with me due to my uh, difficult job nature. So I had to place him with my parents. After every hard working day. When I used to come back home, I was not able to see his smile and heavenly face. I was not able to hold the warm hand of my husband. When everyone used to sleep under cozy blanket in cold winter night or morning, I used to travel 280 kilometer every week just to see the peace of this heart. And just spending one or two days with him, I used to travel back again to my workplace for the call of duty. Irrespective of hot summer, cold winter, bus or train strike, bad weather, stormy night, or heavy rains, I used to travel for two years in same route at same routine on regular basis. And in this tenure, my husband went through two major surgeries. And I used to travel also back in Dhaka very regularly. Meaning, three of the family members used to stay in three separate places. And I myself used to travel in regular basis. When now I am back in Dhaka and able to secure my career as per per my plan, I used to ask me the question, it was easy? It was not. It was not easy. Now if I ask question to this audience, how many of you believe that it is easy to build a glorious career? How many of you really think that it is easy to pursue your dream and passion while managing a good professional career? I know the answer would be negative. The reason is the society we live in here, most of us traditionally want to see a nice picture, a family living together, and to have a secure job with fixed income and job security. Now, let me share some vital statistical insights which will help you to understand the perspective. In our country, the female population is more than uh, the female population is around 50%. It means 
half half male and female population ratio but if we look into the workforce the number of fem female participation is significantly low and in skill category and in leadership positions it is alarmingly lower it means if our more than 50% population cannot significantly contribute to our GDP as a country, we cannot grow as per our wish. And very unfortunately, this is not only the case of Bangladesh. It is common even in all the developed countries. In our country, in corporate sectors, if you look at the graph, in mid-level position, less than 10% female leaders we have. And in top level position, it's less than 1%, which is very, very alarming for us. Now the question is, why our females are not able to come to these positions? Why we are failing to develop our necessary skills and expertise to contribute to strategic things? There are major problems. To understand the problems, we at first need to know the root causes. The first reason is our cultural issues. There are difference in the mindset of our society regarding boy and regarding girl. Even in our families, our parents believe that after completing graduation, their sons would pursue a good career, and they encourage their sons all the way to do that. But very unfortunately, in most of the cases, our parents and families think it differently for their girls. When it's about a girls, they want the girls to get a uh, settled married life first as a priority over their professional career. So this is one reason. And the another reason is our own self-doubt. We girls always don't believe in us. Due to our lack of education, knowledge, and right exposure, we even do not know the true potential of ourselves. Since we do not get right exposure, and we uh, see the things in a different manner from our childhood, we girls even cannot identify our potential, and we do not know how far we can go and how much we can do. And very interestingly, we girls have to go through different mental, physical, and emotional dilemmas. The reason is, as our nature, we are very soft in nature and uh, we, are, we feel strong sense of responsibilities, both for our career and profession. So, in, unlike men, when a man enter into their career, they can focus high on their career growth and self-development. But in case of girls, when a girl complete her tertiary education and after completing graduation, she enters into her um, job, when she is in the stage of her career growth, pursuit for higher and better position, the questions come about getting settled in her marriage. And at the same time, gradually, she also has to face the question of expanding family, the maternity and pregnancy thing. But for some women, it gets worse, like me, who has to go through severe a uh, severe challenge of infertility, a risk of miscarriage, uh, risky pregnancy, and fear of having a special child. The question is how to tackle with it and how society sees about it. So to deal with all these problems, I would request the girls, women, and mothers to ask some fundamental questions to ourselves, to reveal the questions, answers, who I am, who I want to be, where I actually want to go. At first, know the answers of these questions, and then please be aligned with your heart. When your heart and your mind and your souls are aligned, then the journey becomes comparatively easier. Solutions. In such critical 
problem which is prevailing not only in our country, rather all over the world, not only in corporate sectors, rather any sectors, starting from government sector to development fields, throughout the world, it is not easy to solve it by giving a speech or just by reading a book. You know, it's, uh, it's about changing our mindset. It's about uh, a transformation we will have to go through. So I would say, like me, just hold the spirit, never quit, never give up. Whatever the situations come in front of life, we'll have to deal with it. The first suggestion from my side, our lives, I mean the journey of men and women are very difficult. But the st questions I started with, building a good career is not easy for anyone neither for men nor for women. It is really, really very critical to take the decision of chasing your dream and passion at a time while maintaining a good career. And it becomes more and more critical when you are a mother, when you have to go through so many mental, physical, and emotional stresses. Because in case of um, women, we have to go through the stresses every moment, every single day, to take the decision like, I will prioritize my professional career or I will prioritize my personal lives. So it's a big, big dilemma for the girls. So when we, take, when we decided, decide to take uh, this journey and we want to continue it, we need to be very, very bold and strong. And we need to have the mindset and mentality to take the battle every single day. So I wanted to share my journey and experience since our journey is a bit different than men's journey. So we need to be very, very communicative. To take preparation for this session, I wanted to do some primary research and I tried to talk to uh, the women who are going through similar journeys. And in most of the cases, their common, uh, common pain points was they go through, you know, the internal bleeding, burning and dilemma every single day, every moment, whether I will do it, whether I will do that. And from my research, I have found that to go up of the career ladder and to get the strategic positions, the vital soft skills, we need to have not only the girls, rather both men and women, the communication skill, the negotiation skill, the networking skill, these sophisticated skills, which are highly required for, you know, for this fourth industrial and fifth industrial revolution arena. All of us need to have this kind of skills. We girls, in most of the cases, not able to gain these skills, you know, for balancing this juggle every day here and there. So when we decided to take this route of being a good professional while being a good mother, this journey is very sophisticated. Personally, I believe every professional mother has to master the very sophisticated skill to run this delicate journey. So in the solution part, I will reiterate again, if you are a working mother, if you have your own dream and passion, you must communicate your, that dream and passion with your spouse, with your partners, you, with your friends and family members, so that they can understand, so that they can understand and feel an aspiration of your dream. Only then they can help you and support you. Secondly, we must have to focus on gaining these skills and abilities. And from my own experience, I will recommend all the girls, women and mothers, please, please surround yourself with the right people. Have right mentors, have right coaches, do a lot of networking, surround yourself with the similar minded people, read a lot, try to learn a lot, learn every day, every single moment, develop your skills and capabilities. It's a very competitive world and here you have to survive by competing with others. So there is no shortcut and there is no alternatives. So keep fighting, never quit, believe in your dream. So I would urge you, never give up when you lose hope. 
प्लीज बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ नेवर गिव अप वेन यू आर इन डिलेमा होल्ड योर ड्रीम नेवर गिव अप वेन यू फेल कीप ट्राइंग नेवर गिव अप वेन यू फील वालनरेबल कीप फाइटिंग नेवर गिव अप वेन यू फील डिनायल नेगोशिएट फॉर योर सेल्फ प्लीज नेवर गिव अप वेन यू फील डाउन ओन योर ओन सक्सेस थैंक यू वेरी मच